They're down by six points. Hopefully they can get the ball inside. I love when they try to get the ball inside of Haynes and Stork with a three, and uh, she knocks it down. Taken down by Carter. On the other side, three taken by Haynes and hits, and all of a sudden, it's a tie ball game. Oster leads it by two. They led six nothing to start, and that's a long two taken by, by Kopenko. Here is Allison Murphy, the sophomore, dribbling with her left hand, will pick up the dribble, and the three-corner taken by Stork, her third of the day. Sacred Hart gets the ball right back. Left-handed dribble inside the lane, off the glass and through. Allison Murphy makes it a one-point game. And still in this game, so. Inside, that is Katherine Haynes with the bucket, especially when you've got Durant inside that post. And Durant will take the shot, and if she's hitting that shot, it's hard to stop her. An outside shot by Durant. And hopefully they can get a stop. Well, one way to stop it is with the passing in the three. And Leatherwood picks up her dribble. Thought about a three was Haynes. Haynes from the foul line and hits. Now you have a chance to make it a one possession game going into the half. Exactly. And they'll find a wide open Carter for three and hits. And she's blocked by the outside of the rim. And Hofstra gets another rebound. And Sigurdard so tries to get the ball back. It's Tykira Carter. She. She ended the first half and begins the second half with a bucket to give the Pioneers the lead. All the Pride's really controlling the rebound, but Sagan Hart controlling the defense. Another takeaway there by Carter. Up ahead, controlling the pace and up and through. There is Leatherwood again. Last three possessions should not be a three-point shot. And right now they give up an easy layup to Hosher down low. Great pass by Stork. Saletti kind of shot that pretty quick. There's the three that Hoster was waiting for. Got a lot of confidence. Shot that ball with confidence. Three knocked it down. Murphy tries the answer. Back three and she hits it. Quadruple team, so she gives it up. She'll get the ball. Jumper and hits and we're tied up at 47. And a three taken top of the key and swish. A little bit more energy. Here's Leon inside of Durant, and she's going to make that every time. Push the clock all the way down, and then they hit a corner three-point shot. Inside, and there is Haynes picking up points number 16 and 17. So good defensive stop there by the Pioneers. Let's see if they can convert the opportunity they do to Carter. 133 left to go in this fourth quarter. Hofner with the ball. They give it to their playmaker, Durant. Goes off the glass and through. Here is Leatherwood. She's got 13, looking for 15. Off the glass and through. And we're tied again. But you have Stork out there as well. Well, you mentioned Leatherwood. She gets the ball right now. She's going up to the rim, and she finishes. Leatherwood inside to Haynes. The paint and through. They're inbounding, in, inbounding at the worst position possible, but they get it off. Three seconds to shoot. The spin around three is banked in. Down to put her team up by one. The third three-pointer, and inside and through, and one. Inside to Durant. Davis, spin move, inside the paint, off the bank and through. Yeah, you gotta love Haygood's confidence. Especially coming right outside, and that is just a circus shot. Doesn't have the height advantage over her. Four seconds on the shot clock, there is Carter for three, and hits! And there is Leatherwood with the rebound, pushes it up, and almost intercepted, and Carter inside to Haynes. It's a three-point advantage for the Pioneers. Still not double teaming Davis. She'll go off the screen. She'll give it off to Askin. Askin a long range shot and it rattled in. Davis bounces it into Durant. Durant, the body move, blocked and won. Well, it was exciting for both sides. But in the end, Hostra able to eke out an 86-81 victory over the Pioneers in a thrilling double overtime game.